Buenas noches, compañeros. Buenas noches.
Hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Hello, 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 can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, miss, hi. Hi, how are you? Nice, thank you, Kimberly. Nice. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Thank you for being on time, nice. I have uh, 13 members right here on the class. So let's wait a few more seconds. Thank you for the camera. Nice, Marlene, Patricia. Um, let's see, Maria, Veronica, Luis. Thank you for the camera, Andrea. Nice. Okay, so we are waiting for the rest um, joined uh, the meeting. And uh, we are about to start. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are right now um, 19 people in the class. So welcome. Thank you for being on time. And uh, let's let's start. Uh, like in every single class, you know, we have to uh, pass the attendance to make sure that yes, right, we are here. So the same uh, process like every day. So try to uh, answer that yes, you are here. And uh, don't forget to have your camera on, okay? Uh, the whole, during the whole class, okay? Be in a nice and clear area or place at your house. Let's see, thank you, Rebecca, for your camera. Luis, now I see you. Monica, Ludiv Ludivina, thank you, Alison, Miguel, Marlene, gracias. Okay, so right now we are more people in the class. Okay, thank you, Alison, Robert, uh, Jancy. Nice, Sonia, welcome to the class. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with the attendance. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me search right here for the uh, assistencia. So we are group from eight to nine. Okay, here we go. Just a moment. Today is a uh, Tuesday 18th. Okay, so today is Tuesday 18th. So let's see, Alison Michelle. Present. Thank you, Andrea Berenice. Present. Thank you. Uh, Delbert Alcides. Aquí estoy, buenas noches. Good evening. Uh, Franklin Osmel. No. Uh, let's see, Kimberly Elizabeth. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Crisia Maricela. No. Okay. So let's see. The next one is Leslie Marcela. Present. Okay. Um, thank you. Then we have Lourdes Michelle. Michelle, no. Blue Divina Mendoza. Present. Thank you. 
And then we have Luis de Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria de Los Angeles. No. Maria de Los Angeles. No. Uh, Maria Veronica. Present. Thank you. Maria Celeste. Marina Celeste, I'm sorry, Marina Celeste. No. Uh, Marlene Dinora. Present. Thank you. Marta Stephanie. Marta. No. Okay, Miguel Angel. Present. Thank you. Uh, Monica Esther. Present. Thank you. Uh, Norman Bernie. Bernie. I'm present, Miss. Thank you. Patricia Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Patricia Veronica. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rebecca Sarai. Present. Thank you. Uh, Roberto Amilcar. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, then we have Rodrigo Vidal. Rodrigo Vidal. No. Uh, Rosa Lidia. Rosa Lidia. No. Samuel Alejandro. Ha tenido problemas, todavía no se ha logrado conectar, Miss. Oh, Samuel. Sí, sí. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Okay, so probably he's joining the meeting. Nice. Uh, Sandra Lisette. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Sonia Arely. Present teacher. Thank you. Valeria Esther. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jancy Yvette. Present teacher. Thank you. So do I mention all of you or there is like someone that was not here? A todos los he mencionado o alguien que ingresó después? Okay, so thank you. So at the end, you know that we have the attendance one more time. So please uh, don't forget your cameras. I really, really want to see your faces and everything at the moment that we are in the class. Okay, uh, Miguel, Luis, Ludivina, Marleni, uh, Delbert, please open your cameras. Thank you. Okay, remember that I have, I'm taking um, some screenshots as well from the class. And if you are not like, you know, with your camera on, so in the screen, it won't be uh, your name and your face. So let me share the screen one more time. And uh, let's see, let me know if you are able to see it. Okay, nice. Just a moment, let me do something really quick. Okay, so this is something that we covered yesterday. So we did the introduction or at least the small presentations. Okay, welcome, this is the second date. Okay, uh, probably if you were not here yesterday, so, creo que una o dos personas faltaron ayer. So, what we did is cover general information, ok, para que estemos todos al tanto. Esto es algo de lo que vimos el día de ayer, ok. So, just for you to know uh, that we have a couple of rules and things that we have to take into account during the course. That's very important, ok. 
So uh, we did a small presentation. I don't know, uh, yesterday because of the time, right? So we were like running at the end and I don't know if we have someone that would like to do the presentation or alguien que no estuvo ayer. No sé si tengo alguien que no estuvo ayer y está ahora. Okay, so uh, remember that this is the second course, okay? And we have to uh, try to participate in the class, okay? So this is what we are going to do right now. It says uh, lesson 1.0, lesson objective. Let's see, Luis Enriquez, could you please help me with the reading? Luis, could you please help me with the reading on this? Uh -huh. Okay, 1.0, lesson objective. By the end of the class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about transportation, period. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with which illustrates these topics. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Luis. Nice. This is the very, very first uh, model objective that we have. Okay, and it says that by the end of this class, uh, you will learn vocabulary, okay? Vocabulary for talking about transportation, okay? Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrate uh, this topic, okay? So we have transportation, okay? So we know transportation in Spanish, okay? So we know the words, okay? So uh, something that I probably, I don't remember if I mentioned it yesterday was about notes, okay? My best advice is have a notebook, have paper or something to write down a important or a special information during the class. So every time that we have a new work or something that you don't know, please uh, take your notebook and um, write it down. Tenga ahí un su cuadernito de apuntes, alguna su libreta, algo para ir anotando alguna palabra, algún vocabulario nuevo, alguna regla gramatical, alguna conversación, algo que sea importante que usted lo tenga y lo pueda luego, luego revisar, repasar, estudiar. Traten de tenerlo a la mano, un cuaderno o lo que sea, pues, para ir haciendo algunos apuntes, ¿ok? So right now we are about to see transportation, ¿ok? Look at the picture that we have right there. So we have metro, train, truck, ship, pickup, uh, sailboat, bus, and the helicopter, okay? So we will see more, okay? That's just a, an introduction, okay? I remember that I put a picture and look at the picture that we have right here. So uh, probably we know all these words in, um, probably in Spanish, yes, you know it, but also you need to know the words in English, okay? So let's see what we have right here. We have an airplane. Okay, airplane, look at and listen the correct pronunciation. Okay, the airplane. Okay, we have the helicopter, helicopter. We have the bus, no bus, bus is how we say it, right? Viene el bus. Okay, now say bus in English, okay? Diga, viene el bus. Okay, so that's the bus. You have a car, okay, car. We have a taxi, okay, taxi, it's an English word and we use it in English, right? We say taxi, okay? Uh, we have a lorry right here, lorry, okay? That's uh, the trailer, decimos nosotros, right? That is in Spanish, okay, lorry. Uh, we have a van, okay, this is the van. Okay, this like a, it's not like a huge car, but it's not a little one. It's this is the bank. Okay, we sometimes we say camioneta. Okay, so camioneta that's like a like a van. Okay, and the train. Okay, the train. Subway. We don't have subway in El Salvador. We have a. ¿Cómo se llama el metrobus que tenemos? I don't remember. Citrans, right? So, but that's something different, right? That's a, like a like a huge bust. But a subway, it's under the 
air, we don't have it here in El Salvador, but it's a transportation uh, that exists. Uh, we have the bicycle, we have the motorbike, okay, your motorcycle, both are correct, motorcycle. We have a jet, okay, jet. We have a sheep, okay, we have a sheep, boat, okay, this is a boat. And we have the submarine, okay, so there is a transportation okay uh, mode even though we don't we don't have the chance right to use one so this is a vocabulary about transportation so this is extra okay if you see in the book and the manual so we do have a few words okay related with transportation but i put this one that it's a little bit more in that way you can learn more vocabulary okay i don't know if you have a question about the pronunciation or about these words that we have in the screen or everything is clear questions it's clear okay perfect thank you so let's let's see um teacher uh, yes teacher, i have a question uh, where is the meaning of judge uh, porque creo que podría ser yate, pero no estoy segura. Yeah, it is, it is, it okay. is, okay, it is that okay. one, okay, so it's like a, it's not like a huge bark, or it's not like a ship, okay, it's like bigger, okay, it's a smaller, but it's not a boat. This one is canoa, right, un, un, un barquito pequeño, dice uno, un canoa, decimos nosotros, right, so this one would be like, no, you know, it's not like a big one, but it's not the smaller one. It's normal, that's the chat. Okay, perfect. So let's continue, okay? So we need to continue with this. Uh, let's see what else do we have right here. We have a small uh, conversation about nice car. Okay, it says conversation, nice car. Listen and practice, okay? I'm going to read the conversation just one time and then uh some of you will you know practice the conversation okay this is a this is a conversation between ashley and uh jason okay ashley and jason it says a uh, nice car jason it is yours no it's my sister's she has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, so that's the pronunciation and the conversation that we have. Uh, let me ask you, do we have any new work or something that you are not clear with the meaning? Hay alguna palabra o algo que usted diga, mm, I don't know what it is or everything is clear in the conversation. The, uh, that's too, you say that bad, bad? bad? That's it's too bad. bad. That's too bad. Okay, that's too bad. Bad, bad, okay. Thank bad. you. Okay, no problem, thank you. Okay, uh, yes. Do we have any new work or something that it's not clear? No, todas las palabras, todas las, el meaning está ahí bien. Todos entendemos la conversación. No, eh, una cuestión. Go ahead. Eh, the pronunciation in Spanish, eh, don't low. Uh, downtown. 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 Okay, downtown. So for here in El Salvador, downtown sería como la, la ciudad, o sea, el San Salvador, dice usted, no, yo vivo en mexicanos, yo vivo en 
Aguilar es, no sé, pero me toca ir downtown, al pueblo, me toca ir a la ciudad. Ok, that would be the downtown. Ok, like the, like the main city. Ok, main city, the most uh, central area in the city. That would be the downtown. Ok, it's low. I'm sorry? Slow in Spanish. Slow. A slow. Slow. What you mean? La palabra me dice downtown in Spanish. ¿Cuál es el significado o cómo? No, ya le entendí eso. Ya le entendí qué significa el centro. Eh, it's really otro... slow. It's Ajá, really it's... slow. Slow. Ah, uh -huh. slow. Okay, it's really slow. Okay, so look, it says the train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. Slow is lento. Okay, in este caso, el bus. Okay, oh. ellos toman el bus, pero el bus va demasiado lento. Okay, eso como cuando usted va en tráfico y va. Really, really slow. Va ahí lento, moviéndose despacito, ¿ok? That's slow, ¿ok? Nice. Perfect. So, do we have any other work that we don't know? Ok, no problem. So, let's see, let's practice. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Jancy. You will be Ashley, Jancy, and Luis de Jesus. You will be Jason, okay? So, Luis uh, and Jancy, go ahead, please, start. Okay, nice car, Jason. It is yours. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburb? No, suburbs? No, it's suburbs. downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? <laughs> The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Nice. Okay. So let's see. This is the suburbs. Los suburbios decimos si lo traducimos, right? So es decir que no viven en la en la ciudad, o sea, viven como a la afuera, ¿verdad? Es donde ellos están. Ok, so, let's see. Uh, bust, ok, that's the correct pronunciation. Uh, Jancy, you did a nice, ok, nice pronunciation, bust. Ok, that's the bust. Ok, that's too bad. Ok, bad, bad, ok. Bad, algunos dicen bad, pero o sea, es, no es la pronunciación correcta, ok? That's too bad, ok? That's too bad. Nice, ok, let's see. Uh, Delbert, you are Jason. Delbert, you are Jason. And let's see. Rebecca Saraí, you are Ashley, ok? Rebecca Saraí, uh, go ahead and be ready, Delbert. Nice car, Jason. Is yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new home and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburb? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. Transportation. The bus or the train. The train does stop near our house, so they take the bus. 
is really slow. That's too bad. Okay, thank you. Nice. Okay, so this is a job. Okay, she has a new job. Okay, she has a new job. Okay, uh, let's see. And this one doesn't. Okay, doesn't. This is something that we are about to see. Okay, doesn't. The train doesn't <coughs> stop near or housed. Okay. So let's see the last one, okay? Because of the time. So the last one. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Marleni, okay? Marleni Gonzalez. You will be Ashley and Sonia Areli. You will be Jason, okay? Sonia Areli and Marleni. Go ahead, Marleni. Nice car, Jason. Nice car, Jason. It is your? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her home here in the suburb? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? They try to stop near or house. So they like, so <coughs> they take the bus in reality store. That's too bad. <coughs> okay, thank you. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Just let me check right here in the mute because I hear noise okay so uh let's see okay job okay job vean esta pronunciación job repita esta pronunciación repeat job okay job she has a new job okay she has a new job job okay and this one this is something that we are about to see about the simple present Okay, that we have a nest right here. Every time that we have a nest in the bird, we have to pronounce it. Okay, hay que pronunciar esa S. Y no, de momento no la hemos pronunciado. Okay, she drives. Okay, y si es posible, exagérela. Okay, she drives. Okay, she drives. Okay, to work. Porque si usted me dice she drives, is incorrect, okay? Está una palabra incorrecta, okay? Tiene que decir she drives, okay? She drives, okay? Nice. Uh, let's continue, okay? Because of the time, we have to continue with this, okay? We have a couple of questions, okay? And the question number one says, how do you get to work? Remember that we are talking about uh, transportation, okay? So I drive to work every day. I take the bus, bus. No me diga bus, okay? Bus. I take the bus every day. Or I walk to my job in the morning, okay? So let's see. I'm going to ask the question to one of you. You can choose one of these answers, or if you use a different uh, transportation, so you can mention it, okay? Imagínese que usted no usa ninguno de estos tres. Usted se va en moto, por decir así. Usted me va a decir, I uh, drive my motorcycle every day, or I used my motorcycle to travel to my job, okay? Oh, usted se va en bicicleta, okay? I travel by bicycle okay or i go to my work with my bicycle okay i use the bicycle to, to go job okay so depending on your answers let's see uh let's see let's see let's see let's see sandra lee said how do you get to work i walk to my job in the morning oh okay probably you work near to your house right okay nice now sandra 
uh, choose one of your classmates and ask the question, how do you get to work? Sandra? I don't understand. Okay, no problem, no problem. Thank you, Sandra. Let's see, Marina Celeste. Marina Celeste, how do you get to work? And I ride a bike to work. Okay, you drive, you 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 say that you drive to work. This one, right? I drive to work. Yes. Okay, so you have your own car. Do you have your own car and you drive every day in the morning? I am not, not. Okay, you don't have a car. Okay, but as an example, okay? So, nice. Uh, now, Marina, choose one of your classmates and ask the same question, okay? Vamos a ir, yo le pregunto a alguien y usted le va a preguntar a alguien más. Ve ahí a todos los que tienen las cámaras, diga el nombre y pregúntele, how do you get to work? Diga el nombre, por ejemplo, uh, Miguel Ángel. So, un, ex, un ejemplo, right? So, Marina, choose one of your classmates and ask one of the uh, this question, okay? The first one that we have right here. Okay, and um, Andrea Berenice. Okay, Andrea Berenice. So, ask the question, Marina. How do you wear to work? Okay. I work every day. I'm sorry, one more time. <laughs> I try to work every day. Okay, you try to work every day. Perfect. Nice. Uh, now ask the question to somebody else. Choose one of your classmates. Marta Stephanie Diaz. Stephanie Diaz, Marta. So ask the question, please. How do you get to work? Um, I, I take the taxi every day. Okay. You take the motorcycle, you say. Marta? Repeat your answer, please. How do you get to work? Yeah, and your answer? I take the bus every day. Perfect, I take the bus every day. Nice, now Marta, ask the question to one of your classmates. <laughs> choose one of your classmates from the cameras that we have and choose just one and ask the question. Okay, I'll see this. Okay, Delbert, go ahead. Marta, ask the question. Yo pregunto. Uh, no, Marta, you are going to ask the question. Ask the question, please. How do you get to work? Repeat. How do you get to work? Okay, perfect. Now, Delbert, it's you. Answer. I take the bus every day, also while to my home in the morning. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Delbert. So look, we need to we need to practice, okay? And we need to be ready. Okay, we need to be ready every time that we have a question. So what that we can ask the questions to one of the members in the class. Uh, Patricia Gonzalez, Patricia Gonzalez, how do you get to work? I try to work every day. Perfect, I try to work every day. Now, this is present simple, 
¿ok? Este es presente simple donde yo digo, mire, yo me voy caminando todos los días, yo tomo el bus todos los días, yo manejo el trabajo. Oh my God, todos los días. Ok, so be careful with the mute. Alguien ahí no está en mute. Ok, so, but this is, uh, this is about me, ok. So, yo manejo, pero yo quiero decir uh, que ella, puede ser Juanita, Chepita, lo que sea, o un él, José, Roberto, Miguel, lo que sea. Ahí es donde yo voy a usar un cambio en el verbo. Ok, so that's a present simple. Ok, I will say I try to work every day. So I try. Pero yo digo que Patricia, ok, she drives. Ok, I try, she drives. Ok, so we need to add a nest. This is something that we are about to see. Ok, we will see the rules for the simple present. Ok, let's see what else do we have right here. Let's uh, continue with the next part. Ok, look uh, what we have right here. That's the lesson 2.0. And it says that at the end, by the end of this class, uh, you will be able to make simple present statements using regular verbs. So that's what we are about to see right now. Simple present, okay? Simple present. Eh, en, en, en español como en, en inglés, tenemos diferentes tiempos gramaticales. Así como cuando usted iba ya a primero, segundo, tercer grado, a usted le decían que estaba el tiempo presente, el tiempo pasado, el tiempo futuro, y en español tenemos un montón. Ok, so la gramática en español es mucho más extensa que la gramática en inglés. Entonces en español tenemos muchos, 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 muchos otros tiempos gramaticales. The same story in English, ok. In English we have different, different, different uh, tenses, ok. No solo voy a hablar en presente en inglés, ni solo en pasado, ni solo en futuro, right? So we have different tenses. And... Um, right now we are going to work and we are going to learn about the simple present, ok? Simple present, el presente simple es el que vamos a ver en este momento. Vamos a hacer un par de oraciones, ok? Look, I have right here some examples and this is like extra information for you to see it, ok? It says right here, simple present statements, ok? Cuando yo voy a usar el presente simple, ok, in English, I'm going to use the simple present for routines, ok, habits, activities that I do or that we do every day. Ahí es donde yo voy a usar el presente simple, cuando yo estoy hablando de una actividad común, una actividad que yo la hago todos los días. Como qué? ¿Qué es algo que usted hace todos los días? Por ejemplo, su rutina. Ah, me levanto, me baño, desayuno, eh, me cambio, me peino, me visto, voy a trabajar, eh, leo, estudio, almuerzo, ceno, veo la televisión, escucho música. So those are everyday activities. So every time that we are talking about something that we do every day or that we, you know, have like a routine. So that would be simple present. Okay. Uh, look at the examples that we have right here. And it says, uh, it says right here, I walk to school. Ok, estos son eh, simple present statements that are positive. Ok, so I say, it says, you ride your bike to school. Ok, and look at right here. Ok, aquí hay diferentes sujetos. I, you, he, she, we, they. Ok, y look at the birds. Ok, aquí están los verbos en presente simple. Walk, ok, ride. But look at right here, when we have a third person, so cuando tenemos a tercera persona, 
Yo le voy a agregar una S al verbo. I will say, I work. He works. I take. She takes. Okay. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live in our we live with our parents. They used public transportation. Okay, so these ones are positive. Okay, como en español, usted tiene oraciones positivas, negativas, y tiene preguntas, right? The same story in English. We have positive statements, we have negative statements, and we have questions. Okay, look at right here, simple present statements, but in negative. So we are going to use auxiliaries, okay? Cuando vamos a hacer la, la oración en negativo, en presente simple, yo puedo utilizar auxiliares, okay? ¿Cuáles son los auxiliares? Tenemos el do y el does, okay? Do and does, aquí están done and doesn't, because they are in negative, porque están como en negativo, right? Pero el auxiliar que se usa es el do and does, okay? I'm going to use do for the subject I, you, uh, we, and date, okay? So, pero para el sujeto he and she, voy a usar el does, okay? Does, doesn't in negative, right? Este porque está en negativo, it's doesn't. Nunca, nunca, nunca me vaya a mezclar estos auxiliares. Es decir, jamás usted me puede decir he don't, ¿ok? O me puede decir I doesn't, ¿ok? So, usted va a usar el auxiliar does para un he o un she. Es decir, un él o un ella. Aquí puede decir Rosita, Juanito, Chepito, lo que sea, right? Aquí sí doesn't, okay, or does, if it is positive, okay? So let's see, it says right here, I don't live far from here. Uh, you don't live near here. He doesn't work. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a, they don't need a car, okay? So those are uh, statements that are with auxiliaries, okay? Let's see what else do we have. Vamos a ver algo más que nos presenta nuestro manual para que ustedes vean algunos otros ejemplos. Veamos, esto es un recap. Do you know what a recap is? ¿Saben ustedes qué es un recap? Si yo le digo, let's do no, a recap. I don't know. No? Recap, it's no. R E C a P recap. Anótelo por ahí. No es una nueva palabra. El abecedario ya lo, ya lo vi. Será again, please. Okay. No, no problem. Una pregunta. Una pregunta. Eh, va a compartir lo de las diapositivas porque me quedé. Oh yes, no problem. Okay, se los voy a estar mandando quizás eh, cada semana, verdad, lo que vayamos viendo para que ustedes lo tengan y no tengan que estar copiando todo, ¿verdad? Sino que si hay algo importante, algo lo puede un extra ir haciendo una anotación, pero sí, yo les puedo compartir esta presentación con mucho gusto. Ok, nice. So, uh, let's see, recap. Dijimos esa palabra, si es nueva para ustedes, anótela por ahí. Recap, it's R E C A P. Todos se pueden el abecedario, eso lo vimos allá en el básico. Yeah, uno, right? Yes, so R -E -C. Okay, it's R E C eight P as in Pedro, P as in Peter. Okay, nice. That's the recap. Okay, so what is a recap? Delbert, what is a recap? Es que el recap no sé cómo se pronuncia en español, por eso no sé. Solo sé que... Ok, uh, Robert, Roberto Álvarez, do you know what is a recap? No. 
Okay, no, you don't know. Recapitular. Valeria, go ahead, Valeria. En repaso, recapitular. Repaso, nice, perfect, yes, es un repaso, así decimos nosotros. Esto es un repaso, esto que usted está viendo en su pantalla, esto ya lo vimos en el módulo anterior. Ok, Valeria, se aprendió la palabra, esto lo vimos en el módulo anterior, ¿verdad? El recap. Ok, nice, perfect, ok, so this is a recap, ok. Siempre que yo le diga, let's do a recap, that means que esto ya lo vimos y solo es un repaso, un refresh, ok, para que usted diga, ah, sí, ya me acordé, ok, so this is a small recap what we have right here in the screen because right here we have the verb to be, ok, allá en el módulo 1 le dijeron que el verbo to be, usted puede hacer oraciones positive, negative and also questions, y acá, mire, está la fórmula que usted va a usar para estructurar una oración en positivo usando el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, dice que you need an, uh, the subject. Uh, let's see, como este es un recap, vamos a ver, let's see, let's see who, 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 who. Uh, let's see, let's see, Patricia, Patricia Veronica, ok. Patricia Veronica mentioned uh, all the subjects that you remember, the subjects. Which ones are the subjects that you know? Patricia, Veronica, you don't remember? El sujeto es... Ajá, uh -huh. subjects, perfect. Soy yo. Ajá, uh -huh. in English, in English. Uh, I, I am. Okay, I, that can be a subject, I. I. Let's see, Kimberly, Elizabeth, thank you, Patricia. Another subject that you remember, Kimberly? Well, uh, it's I, you, he, she, we, they, it. Perfect, nice. Ya ven, esto ya lo vimos. Esto lo tuvieron que ver en el módulo anterior. Ahí están los subjects, okay? I. Uh, you, he, she, it, we, they. Ok, that means que usted quiere hacer una oración, usted primero necesita un sujeto. Ok, then it says right here that you need the verb to be. Ok, que, ¿cuál es el verbo to be? Am, is, are. Cualquiera de los tres, dependiendo del sujeto. For example, let's see, uh, Bernie, Bernie, okay? Let's create a sentence, a positive sentence with the verb to be with the subject uh, he, okay? Give me an example, Bernie, with he. He is a student. Okay, perfect. He is a student. Okay, we have a subject, we have the verb to be, and we have the predicate or the complement. Okay, nice. Perfect. Nice. Let's see Franklin or smell. Give me another example using uh, the verb to be, a positive sentence with the um, subject we. I guess that you are on mute, Franklin. Hello, Franklin. Creo que no se le escucha, Franklin. Okay, I guess that you have problems with the uh, with the audio. No problem, Franklin. Thank you. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Um, Ahora, teacher? Oh, yes. Now it's okay. it's okay. Give me an example with the subject we, a positive sentence using the verb to be. Okay. Um, we are hungry. Okay. Hungry. We are hungry. We are friends. We are family. Okay. Nice. Okay. 
So that's a positive sentence. Now, let's see, we have a negative, okay? Negative sentence with the verb to be. The same story, we have the formula right here. Aquí yo le he puesto la estructura que usted debe de seguir para hacer una oración en negativo con el verbo to be. Dice que usted necesita the subject, you need the verb to be, am, is, are, dependiendo del sujeto, plus not. Okay, that would be the negative statement, plus the predicate or the complement. Okay, an example, we are not students, okay? I am not a doctor, okay? Those are examples. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, Leslie Marcella. Give me an example with the verb to be a negative statement or a negative sentence with the subject she. She isn't no, um, yeah, she hungry. Okay, okay. She, is she isn't hungry. She is not. She isn't hungry. Okay, perfect. Nice. Then we have the questions. Okay, aquí está la fórmula también para poder hacer una pregunta con el verbo to be. And this is the structure. This is the formula. And it says that we need the verb to be, um, is, are, dependiendo del sujeto, plus the subject, plus the predicate or the complement, plus the question mark. Okay, en una pregunta en inglés, debe de poner el question mark. Si no lo pone, está incorrecto. No es pregunta besides the incorrect intonation, ok? Cuando usted está haciendo una pregunta igual en español, van los signos de pregunta y usted dice, eh, ¿y cómo es? ¿Y qué es lo que tú estás haciendo? Pregunta, right? So, el tono que usted use, it's very important, the same story in English, ok? Let's see, uh, Ludivina Mendoza, give me an example with a question what the bird to be. Give me a question, please. Is she a study? Okay, is she sí. a student? Es ella un estudiante, right? Is she a student? Okay, perfect, okay. Perfect, let's see. The last one will be for um, Sandra Lisette. So Sandra Lisette, another example with a different subject for a question. Is she a doctor? Perfect, is she a doctor? Nice, perfect. Entonces este es un repaso, ya ven, esto ya ustedes lo saben. Nice. Now we have birds right here, okay? Ahora vamos a poner verbos. En español, allá en cuarto grado le decían a usted, el verbo es la palabra que le da la acción, ¿verdad? Por ahí está el significado de un bird, okay? Le da la acción a la oración, está el verbo. So the same story in English, okay? The verb in English is very important, okay? And we have right here the structure, okay? Si usted quiere una oración en presente simple, en positive, you need the subject plus the verb plus the complement, okay? Ejemplos, I run every day. Yo corro todos los días. I walk every day in the morning, ¿ok? El sujeto más el verbo más el complemento. Acá hay algo que vamos a ver, la regla del verbo. No todos los verbos van a ser igual dependiendo del sujeto en positivo. Como lo, el ejemplo que les puse anteriormente. Dice, I drive to my job every day. Pero ya digo, he or she drives to here or his job every day. Eso se lo voy a, más adelante se los he puesto, ¿ok? Para que lo tomemos en cuenta. Now, if we need a negative sentence, present simple, but in negative, ¿ok? So we will say the subject plus done 
or doesn't plus the verb plus the uh, object or the complement, right? So aquí voy a usar auxiliares, do and does. Okay, estos son auxiliares del presente simple, do and does. Son los auxiliares. Ahora en negativo es don't and doesn't. Okay, uh, con contracciones, right? Con el apóstrofe, esta comita que está aquí se llama apóstrofe. No sé si ya se lo habían dicho. ¿Verdad? No se llama coma, no se llama puntito, no se llama colita, se llama apostrophe. ¿Ok? So every time that we have an apostrophe, that means that we have a contraction. ¿Ok? Es como una palabra que se hace más corta. ¿Ok? Porque usted me quiere decir, mire, pero es que a mí eso de la contraction a mí no me gusta. Entonces, yo voy a decir, do not, doesn't, or does not. Ok, de una forma más larga. Ahora bien, since we are learning, my best advice is use the contractions. Ok, every time that you are talking, cuando usted esté hablando, es mejor que usted use las contractions, que usted use las palabras de esta manera, porque de esa forma usted va a sonar más fluido. Es decir, su pronunciación va a ser más rápida. Ahora, cuando usted está escribiendo, se recomienda hacerlo sin contraction, sin, the, sin apostrophe, right? Because it's like formal. Usted está escribiendo una carta, algo, y las contracciones mm, se ven como informales, ¿ok? Pero when we are talking, it's better to say don't, doesn't, ¿ok? Yo le digo, I don't have a car. Y si yo le digo, I do not have a car. Usted me dice, she doesn't have a car, ¿ok? She does not have a car. So, aquí va a depender, el auxiliar que usted va a usar va a depender del sujeto, ¿ok? Para el he and she vamos a usar does, ¿ok? Ese es el auxiliar de ellos dos, ¿ok? No se me vaya a confundir, anote por ahí, más adelante viene una imagen donde... Están así como enmarcaditos para que usted los tenga y no se confunda. Porque cuando ya estamos hablando, a veces decimos, no, uh, she don't. Y uno se queda, she don't. Oh, no, she doesn't. Ok, ahí volvemos al chip. Ok, pero no, no, se me, no se me confunda. Alguien decía por ahí, usted está aprendiendo un inglés académico, un inglés correcto. ¿Verdad? Como en el español. Usted oye, usted oye que el niño dice, ahí viene mi mamá. Y usted no se dice así, le dice, se dice, ahí viene mi mamá. Hable bien, le dice usted, ¿ok? Lo mismo en inglés, ¿ok? Usted no me vaya a decir, ah, she don't, she don't, no, she doesn't, ¿ok? Para que usted me hable correctamente. Entonces, son detalles gramaticales que van a marcar la diferencia al momento que usted está hablando. And at the end we have right here uh, for questions, ¿ok? Cuando yo estoy usando el presente simple para pregunta. Aquí en el verbo to be dijimos que usamos el verbo to be al inicio, right? Uh, is, am, um, or are, ¿ok? Eso es para una pregunta con el, pre el verbo to be. Ahora, una pregunta en el presente simple, yo voy a usar estos dos auxiliares. El do o el does, dependiendo del sujeto. Ok, Yo, el sujeto es, es uh, we, un ejemplo. We es el sujeto. Do we learn English every day? That's a question. Do we learn English every day? Pero ahora usted quiere preguntar si él está estudiando inglés. Does. Ok, does. He learn English every day, okay? Does she study at the university? ¿Será que estudia ella en la universidad? Does she study at the university? Okay, so vamos a ver más ejemplos. Esto es un recap, dijimos, right? This is a recap, okay? We have more okay. information right here, okay? And this is something that we have in the book. Si se fijan, ahí está 
parte del libro. Mire, acá están las contractions que yo le mencionaba. Don't, do not. Doesn't, does not. ¿Ok? Esta es la contracción. ¿Ok? Y aquí tenemos el simple present statement. ¿Ok? Lo que yo ya les había mostrado anteriormente. ¿Ok? Va a depender del sujeto cómo yo voy a, a utilizar el verbo. Si yo quiero hablar en presente simple, pero yo quiero decir, yo no camino todos los días. En positivo sería, I walk to school every day, as an example, right? I walk to school every day. Pero usted me quiere decir que usted no camina todos los días. I don't walk to school every day. So, estos auxiliares do and does son los que le van a dar a usted la estructura en negativo en el presente simple. ¿Ok? Luego, si usted quiere hablar en positivo, pues usted va a usar el verbo normal. Ahora, si es tercera persona, le vamos a agregar una S. Y no es que a todos les voy a meter una S al final y como caiga. Hay una regla que más adelante se los he colocado. Ya lo vamos a revisar. ¿Ok? But this is just the beginning of the present continuous, uh, present uh, simple, ¿ok? Recuerde que vamos a usar el presente simple para mencionar actividades o acciones que yo hago todos los días, que yo hago siempre, que yo hago con frecuencia, que yo eh, lo realizo como una rutina. Ahí es donde yo voy a usar el presente simple porque hay otros tiempos. Como en español, si usted no me dice, yo fui a traer las tortillas mañana. No, usted me dice, yo fui a traer las tortillas ayer, ¿verdad? Todo usted lo relaciona con el tiempo en el cual usted está hablando. No me dice, yo comí mañana, ¿verdad? No, entonces usted ubica el tiempo en la, la acción, que es lo que está haciendo. The same in English, usted me quiere decir que usted... Hace algo todos los días, me quiere expresar algo. Mire, fíjese que yo todos los días veo la novela de las ocho. Ok, so ahí voy a usar el presente simple. Ok, so, oh my God, the time is over. No me había fijado. Ok, so we are, <laughs> we are going to stop right here. Ok, I have to pass the attendance. And uh, we are going to continue tomorrow. Ok, nos hace falta ver un, muchas cosas más por acá. Tengo un par de actividades ahí que vamos a hacer eh, la práctica para eh, ver um, los verbos, ¿ok? Usar el presente simple, but we are going to continue, ¿ok? Lo que tiene que acordarse ahora es el auxiliar do, does. ¿Para quién voy a usar el do? ¿Para quién voy a usar el does? Uh, ¿Cómo es la forma contractada y cómo es la full form del do not or does not, ¿ok? Nice. So, déjenme pasar la asistencia really quick. Ya les estoy robando acá unos minutos. Sorry, sorry, que me emocioné un poco. Ok, let's see. Uh, let's see. Alison Michel. Present. Thank you. Uh, Andrea Berenice. Andrea. Uh, Delper Alcides. Aquí estoy. Thank you. Franklin Osmel. Thank you. Uh, Kimberly Elizabeth. Ahí está Kimberly. Uh, Crisia Maricela. Crisia. No. Leslie Marcela. Present. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, Lourdes Michel. Lourdes, no. Uh, Ludovina Mendoza, ahí está. Eh, Luis de Jesús, thank you, Luis de Jesús. Present teacher. Gracias, Luis. Luis Fernando. Present teacher. María de Los Ángeles. Verónica, María Verónica, I'm sorry, María Verónica. Present. Thank you. María de Los Ángeles me dijo presente. Creo que no, solo María Verónica. Marina Celeste. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marlene Dinora. Present. Thank you. Marta Stephanie. 
present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Miguel Angel. Present. Thank you. Monica, sir. Present. Thank you, Norman Bernie. I know that you are there. Patricia Elizabeth. Patricia. Patricia. Okay, Patricia Veronica. Present. Thank you, Rebecca Saray. Present. Roberto Amilcar. Present. Rodrigo Vidal. No. Uh, Rosa Lidia. No. Samuel Alejandro. No. Sandra Lisette. Present. Thank you, uh, Sonia Arely. Present. Thank you, Valeria. Present. Jansi. Present. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm sorry, Kay. I'm taking extra Andrea time. Andrea Berenice is present. Andrea okay. Berenice is present. Okay, thank you. I put the attendance. So see you tomorrow. Okay. Dice, también le escribió Patricia. Patricia González present. Patricia González. Okay, I will put it Perfect. there. Okay, no problem. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, thank you.